Uh, what what was it like teaming up with these players you haven't gotten a chance? You've only faced players like Angel Reese and mm-hmm. uh, seeing you out there with Enrique and all that. Yeah, it was great. Um, honestly, it was a lot of fun. I thought we came in here and just we competed hard. Um, that was the thing. Like we knew they were going to want to win. So we came out with the same mindset of wanting to win. Um, I think we were down two at halftime. And I thought we started the third quarter really strong. And that's what kind of set the tone for that whole second half. And then never hurts when Enrique gets really hot like that. It's just kind of like give her the ball and, and let her do her thing. And um, it's probably the main reason we won was because of her. So uh, shout out to Enrique. Okay, next question, front row to your right. Good, no cap space. Uh, you, you came close to the WNBA All-Star uh, assist record, and you mm-hmm. mentioned on the broadcast that you and Sue were uh, were talking a little bit. Can you give us any insight as to, to what was being said between you two? That's Sue's record. I can't take that from her. That's my homie. So, But no, I mean, we were just playing hard. Um, I don't know, like, there was a couple times, especially with AB, like, you can still just see our connection, even though we're not with the whole Fever team. Like, we still have that connection. And then John Quell ran ran well in transition. So it was just fun. Like, I was just trying to push the pace, get the ball out, even on their made baskets, and go. Like, that's just what I do. Like, I try to push the pace for everybody. And I think at times that led to really good offense for us. But, yeah, that's that's all Sue. So let her have that. My next question to your left on the fourth row, all the way to the end. Hey, Kalen. Doug Feinberg, Dave P. Mm-hmm. What was it like out there watching and being involved with Enrique in that third quarter? I mean, people would sort of have that with you in college for all those years, seeing mm-hmm. spurts like that. But to be out there and, and then watching from the bench, seeing what she did in that third quarter. Yeah, it's so fun. Like, as a scorer, like, when you see a couple go down like that, like, you just have all the confidence in the world. The basket looks really big. So I, I know exactly how she felt. Like, she, she was just in the zone. Like, and really, they played good defense multiple times. Like, there's just nothing you can do in those situations where she's making step back threes, one legged floaters, um, things like that. Like, you you literally cannot guard it. And like I said on the broadcast, like I, in my eyes, she's the best one on one player in this league. Like, she just has that skill. Like, she can get whatever shot whenever she wants it. Um, that's how good she is with the ball. So um, it was fun to watch. Like, that's exciting for me. Like, I haven't always been on that side of it where, you know, you have a teammate that goes kind of crazy like that. So um, for me, like on the bench, like they tried to sub me in for her. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm going to stay over here on the bench. Let her do her thing. <laughs> Caitlin, next question. Uh, third row to the left here. Hi, Caitlin. Yeah. Is there a moment either on or off the court you think you're going to remember most from this weekend, your first All-Star experience? I think, honestly, just the game the most. Like. I had a lot of fun just playing and enjoying the atmosphere, like talking with the people courtside. Like I was just trying to smile and have fun. Like it doesn't really matter, like win or loss, points scored, whatever it is. Like that's not what this is about. Like it's just, you know, kind of, you know, a reward for your hard work. Um, obviously it was definitely more competitive probably this year than it is in other years. Um, and I thought we still competed it competed, but we still had a lot of fun. And I think that's another main reason we won is because we just smiled and just played free. Right here. Hey, Caitlin. Lauren with the 9450. Um, as a young girl, uh, do you remember watching the All-Star Game and who were you excited to watch at that point in time? Oh, gosh. That's tough. Um, honestly, like, I grew up watching a lot. Like, I tried to watch the WNBA as much as I could. Um, I mean, Maya Moore was my favorite player growing up. I, I can't remember, like, specifically, like, one All-Star Game. That's that's tough for me. But, I, I mean, I always watched. Like, I was a huge supporter. <laughs> Hey, what for you, you, you young people playing against that team, any vindication in the fact that you beat the Olympic team and you guys were not selected to that team? Um, no, I mean, they're really good. They have plenty of talent on that team. Um, I'm like, I mean, it was the same, I think, four years prior. I'm pretty sure the team WNBA beat Team USA. Um, they were perfectly fine in the Olympics. Like, um, I think it, if anything, it shows how good this league is. Like it shows how much talent is in this league and how you have to show up and prepare every single night because there's a lot of players that aren't even here on all-star weekend that can, you know, be here and be in these moments too. It just shows the amount of talent that we have. And there's even so much more talent that's not even in our league because there's only 12 teams. There's less than 144 spots. So, um, you know, they could have picked any combination of 12 players and probably been really, really successful. So uh, I think for myself, from my standpoint is like, you know, this is a great opportunity to, you know, help prepare them for Paris. And, you know, I'm going to be supporting them and cheering them on. Like, I love the Olympics. I've loved the Olympics ever since I was a young kid. And they're going to be just fine. They're they're going to win gold and dominate. So I'm not I'm not worried. 
Next question, Caitlin, all the way to the right. The Hi, Caitlin. Row. Go ahead. Hi. Yeah. You just spoke on having 12 teams, but coming off a sold out all-star game, you're coming in the next two years. There's two expansion teams, including I'm from Toronto. We're getting our first team in Canada. What does it mean to you to come into the league at a time like this where the growth is unprecedented? Yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. And to be a part of this, like to see it grow, um, it's super special, super special. I'm happy for the players that have been in this league for a really long time to have moments like these and opportunities like these because they've deserved it. Um, you know, it's been a long time coming, but honestly, like, I feel like we're just scratching the surface. Like, like you said, the two expansion teams that already announced and are, you know, going to be coming over the course of the next two years, like that's only going to help the league grow. It's going to get more eyeballs, get us into new markets, the new media rights deal that's going to help. Um, so it's just, you know, day by day, day by day, year by year, like it's only going to continue to get better and it's going to give people an opportunity to see how good women's basketball is, um, from a professional level, but everybody knows how good the talent is in the college level. And you don't want to, you want to continue to get more of those players into this league because there's so many fans at the college level and continue to bring those fans here. So, uh, for myself, I'm, I mean, I'm just very thankful and grateful and, um, if I can help in any way, that's all I'm trying to do is continue to bring people to want to support this game. Thank you much. <clears throat> Caitlin, Greg Moore, Moore, Arizona Republic. Go ahead. Yeah. Ten assists, only two turnovers. You're known as a scorer, but you were a facilitator tonight yeah. and it worked. What were you seeing out there that put you in that position to play that way today? Well, I honestly can't wait to not touch a basketball for a while. <laughs> oh my God. I think I've shot too many times in the past year. Um, but, um, I mean, I just love passing the basketball. I think, like, I just love to push the pace. Like, I want to make people run. And honestly, sometimes it works better almost when they score. They, like, take a breath for a second. I want to get the ball out and go. Um, you know, that's the way I view it is, like, let's get the ball out. Let's go. Let's push. That's the hardest thing to guard on offense is offensive transition. On a made basket, on a missed basket, doesn't matter. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I just want to set my teammates up for success, get them in positions to be successful. Um, and I take a lot of pride in that, probably more pride than, you know, making shots. If I can set my teammates up, that's going to make our team way more successful overall. So uh, that's what I like to do. Caitlin, Everybody have a nice month.